Hello everyone and welcome back to the shop. As many of you know, I'm currently building this giant oak tree out of forged steel. And now that a lot of the artwork is well underway, I want to now turn my attention to the copper. I'm making the entire canopy of this tree out of beautiful copper leaves that I want to turn bright green, different shades of green. So that means I need to develop a finish. There's a wealth of knowledge out there on different finishes between you know salt and vinegar and muriatic acid, all sorts of things. But I want to formulate my own style. I want to do conduct some experiments on what finish I want to color this canopy with. Let's get started. Alrighty, so I was able to scrounge around my scrap pile and I found some copper. And I've split it into six regions. I'm gonna try vinegar. Salt and vinegar, salt water, muriatic acid, diluted acid, and ammonia. I'm going to paint these all up, leave them out in the sun, and see what happens. So, when it comes to this experiment, for this copper finish, it's going to have to be kind of what I would like to call, like, quick and dirty. I'm just going to have to spray it on or dip into the, the solution that I find that gives me the best results. I'm going to be dealing with over a thousand leaves here. You know, I can't really, if you have like a, an inert environment inside of a Tupperware where I have a little bit of liquid ammonia on the bottom and I'm only able to let the, uh, the fume, the ammonia fumes, you know, color the, uh, the leaves. We're, we're dealing with it. massive volumes, so I'm going to have to probably lay it all across the ground and spray this solution on or, like I said, dip it. So keep that in mind when we're dealing with this, uh, this experiment. Alrighty, folks, so we got all of our compounds all laid out, ready to rock and roll. Best thing I could think of to do, start with a bit of vinegar and see what happens. Now, in between each of these sets, I'm going to uh, clean all of my tools accordingly. Get everything nice and cleaned up so I don't have any you know, cross-contamination. Because that wouldn't be any good. I'm just kind of simulating if I were to just spray it and wet it down. Now, you might notice I have not cleaned this surface because I want it to be just where I can take these leaves when I get them and then just douse them. I don't have to clean anything. We're talking over a thousand leaves. I'm not going to sit there and chicka, 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 you know, <laughs> you know uh, spit polish every one of these leaves. We're going to go quick and dirty. We're just going to spray them and forget about them. All right, let's go to the next one. Vinegar and salt. Taking very precise measurements. Dissolve that. Got it pretty well dissolved. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this and then do the next, the salt water, and I'm gonna clean it again, do the muriatic acid. I'm not gonna bore you with all of that. I'm just gonna, you know, finish it up. All right, salt water, brine, here we go. I don't know about you, but if you ever go to the coast and you see, you know, pieces of brass and things like that, man, they're just that beautiful green next to the coast. So there's definitely something to this method. Just might take a little longer than we like. Last but certainly not least is ammonia. Now I've cleaned my jug, my, my paintbrush, all of that good stuff so that we are giving it a nice and fresh start. Just give a nice thin coating on that, just as if I was spraying it with a, uh, a spray bottle. Now, let's let this rest for a couple of days and let's just see what happens. It has been precisely two days. Here we are with the vinegar, vinegar and salt, salt water, muriatic acid, diluted acid, and ammonia. Look at the gorgeous tones that muriatic acid created, as well as the vinegar and salt. I think we have two really good contenders here. Okay, so now, this is one of the moments that I kind of dread, and that is having too many good options uh, to choose from. You know, like, all of these different processes worked really well, and now I'm com completely overwhelmed with options. But I gotta narrow it down, right? So I think the mur between the muriatic acid, and I know that the ammonia has a lot of potential, but especially the vinegar and salt. Um, I believe that the muriatic acid is gonna be a little on the harsh side. Also, it really darkens the copper to a, like a black and then becomes green. 
I, uh, I'm really leaning towards the vinegar and salt, mainly because then I wouldn't be dealing with any harsh chemicals. Uh, it'll just be relatively natural. And I can, uh, I know I can have a big vat of it and do some dips. I don't have to worry about off-gassing. I think we have our answer. And that is doing the vinegar and salt. I, uh, I'm really excited. I'm gonna continue to observe how this ages because something to keep in mind here is that this finish is going to continue to mature, continue to patina for years and years and years and years. For the next hundred some odd years, it's gonna to continue to get better and better and better. I'm just trying to give it that head start, that leg up that it needs to burst with color because I don't want that awkward kind of dull copper brown phase because it's gonna match the color of the bark so well. I want that vibrant greenish blue to begin with. Oh, I'm excited to keep watching and observing this um, for when we start coloring the leaves. I'm really looking forward to it. And as always, my friends, thank you for watching.